My name is Gustav Petersen, and I'll be presenting my paper called Pedagogical Agents in Educational VR and in the Wild Study. We know from research that learning doesn't only involve cognitive processes. It's also an inherently social process that involves social exchanges between people. But as more and more learners move away from the physical classroom and into the digital classroom, we risk losing the social element which could hinder learning. This problem also extends to my field of study, which is learning via virtual reality headsets. And one solution could be to include virtual people during virtual learning, as some scholars think that humans treat computerized people like real people. This is called the media equation. In this study, we manipulated the presence of a virtual instructor during a virtual reality lesson to understand social interactions in the virtual classroom better. Social agency theory identifies social presence as the psychological result of using virtual instructors. According to this theory, social presence leads to more learning as the learner will work hard to understand the speaker's message. Social agency theory also identifies the design of virtual instructors as a way of increasing social presence and thereby learning. The experiment had five conditions in total. Four of these included virtual instructors designed with different combinations of high and low visual and behavioral realism. High behavioral realism meant that the agent displayed natural movements, whereas low behavioral realism meant that it remained static. High visual realism meant that the agent looked like a female museum tour guide, whereas low visual realism meant it was in monochrome. There was also a control condition which only included the virtual instructor's voice. Our participants were 161 Oculus Quest owners who were recruited online via mostly Reddit and installed the application on their own devices. Most of the participants were young males located in the US who identified as expert VR users. When starting the application, a pretest assessed their prior knowledge about viral diseases. This was followed by the core learning material about measles, Zika, and COVID-19, taught by one of the five virtual instructors. Afterwards, a post-test measured the knowledge again and collected subjective measures. On average, all participants improved their factual and conceptual knowledge about viral diseases and enjoyed the experience. However, there were some interesting learning differences based on the virtual instructor's appearance. As can be seen, virtual instructors actually risk leading to less factual learning, such as learning about numbers and figures. There were main effects of both appearance and behavior, which means that instructors of high visual and behavioral realism were significantly worse than control. This was not the case for conceptual learning, as can be seen on the next graph. Learning about concepts and theories was in some cases slightly better in the presence of a virtual instructor, although the difference was not very large. There was also a significant crossover interaction effect between appearance and behavior. This meant that the effect of visual realism on conceptual learning reversed depending on the level of behavioral realism. Looking at the participants' experience of social presence, adding virtual people to the environment did not make that much of a difference. In general, the levels of social presence were low. Only participants who interacted with virtual instructors of high behavioral realism experienced slightly higher levels of social presence. As predicted by theory, these findings indicate that realistically behaving pedagogical agents do lead to more social presence. Contrary to theoretical claims though, this doesn't lead to more learning. In general, we found that virtual instructors are not ideal for learning about numbers and figures, most likely because it requires a lot of mental resources and minimal distraction is therefore preferable. 
Next steps for research on this topic could be to use virtual instructors for other types of learning, such as learning complicated procedures rather than declarative knowledge. Learning by observing other people perform is a well-established phenomenon in educational psychology and could very well transfer to virtual people as well. Thank you.